Hello! Let's install Grassplate add-ons together. Go to Edit Preference and click on Install, then look for the zip file. Don't unzip it. Activate Grassplate and save preferences. Close the window and go to the end panel to discover the Grassplate tab. Let's add a biome. First, create a plane. Rescale it and don't forget to apply the scale. Ctrl plus A and apply. In Grassblade, let's choose the plane as the emitting object and select a biome from the list. Click on Load to import a biome. The loading bar shows the progress of importing the assets and scattering the layers. Do not forget to check the object display setting to see the correct color of the layer in the viewport. Grassblade allows you to enable and disable proxies with one click to optimize the viewport of your computer performances. It will automatically display the full resolution object in the final render. The active layer gives access to the particle system settings which can be configured according to your needs, such as the density or seed randomization. Vertex Groups allows you to paint a mask on your surface. Remember to subdivide your surface in edit mode for more precision. It is now easy to make the white plants disappear. Let's repeat the manipulation with the grass layer to mask out some areas, and once again with the tall grass. With the Remove button, you can remove the Vertex Groups mask from the layer. You can control the size of each instance, the random scale factor, the random rotation, factor on Y and Z. Alignment can be relative to the surface, normal or to the Z axis. Some layers have a realistic textures data influencing your instance density. We can easily isolate a layer using the little icons. It is now easier to see the influence of texture parameters like brightness or contrast. The Randomize button allows you to randomly vary the texture location. You can also have precise control over location, rotation, scale. The power of Grassblade is the ability to add biomes on top of each other, creating infinite possibilities. For example, let's select the Lavender field and import it. A new layer has just appeared and we can control it using the options seen previously. Let's use the rotation value to orient our textures for our need. Now let's take a look at the materials editor. Sometimes it is interesting to customize shaders settings. Let's select the layer that we want and click on select assets. Grassblade will unhide and select the assets for use it. Now it's easy to open the Material Editor and fine-tune our shader. The shader's node group allows a lot of amazing functionalities. Add stripes like on a football stadium. Vary the season thanks to the Four Seasons slider. Add variations in the grass or pass the mower with the Cut Grass option. The possibilities are truly endless. Now let's add one more biome on another surface. Let's choose a new biome, and don't forget to choose this new object as the emitter object. Let's import the biome. The biome is now imported and scattered on our surface. To return to the previous plane, you have to change the emitter object. Then we can again change the parameters of the first biome. It may happen that black spots appear on rendering. Don't panic, we just have an opacity problem. To resolve the issue, simply increase the transparency in the cycles parameter. Grassblade is 100% compatible with Scatter 5 and runs on the Scatter 5 scattering engine. Let's find out how to install the Grassblade scat pack within Scatter 5. The latest version of Scatter 5 must be installed. Go to Edit Preferences and search for Scatter 5. Click on Enter Manager. Within the Plugin Preferences, click on Install a Scatter Package and choose the .scat pack file from your computer. After installation, select your emitter object from the end panel. In the Biomes Library, you will find the Grassblade Biomes ready to be used. 
Choose one and import it. You can now use Grassblade photorealistic biomes with the most powerful scattering plugin of Blender. Have fun!